wanted to show over the lifespan of all of the six county based institutions while it was the old storm in 1921 right up to the current assembly post Good Friday Agreement. What we wanted to do was to show people from each of those institutions who played important roles it's very inclusive exhibition. It has people from every community and every tradition. It has men and women. It has nationalists, Republicans, unionist representatives, liberals, labour representatives, people who often don't get talked about in historical terms at all. So I believe that we have managed to put together a display based on principles of inclusivity, showing the historical timeline, if you like, the, the historical facts and context of all these institutions. It's a sign of their gargantuan strides we have taken, really, in the last 20, 30 years since the ceasefires and the peace process, you know. I mean, Stormont has evolved. Yes, it has difficulties. Yes, there are uncertainties. But there is more of a mutual respect and a recognition that, you know, the thing about the past is, on this island, we have a common history. We don't have a common memory. But we must look to the facts, and the facts are reflected, I hope, in this exhibition.